Some facts about God of War 1. Hello and welcome to Extreme Gameplays where I play games stylishly. Today I'm coming in with a new series and it is essentially facts about a game that you may not know. This will be in parts so this is not gonna be completely filled with every single fact about the game. Just a short video going through some facts here and there and remember these are in-game facts and nothing development related. For example we're not gonna be discussing anything about hey the game was going to be called Dark Odyssey. No, this is just in-game facts. If you find any comment them down below and they they might be in the next facts about God of War 1 video. Without further ado, let's start it. Our first fact is that the game has two locations where you can go to certain spots to view the whole architecture. I love this so much, especially the challenge of Hades one. So beautiful and it shows a lot. And of course we have the temple of the oracle, you know, the, the place where you have, to you, you have to save the oracle and stuff. It just shows the entire place in these two spots and I love them so much. Our next fact is that you can do these long ass analog QTEs without having to reset the analog to the natural position. Meaning you can drift from one combination to another without resetting the position of the stick which is very helpful and makes this shit a lot easier now i don't know why i laughed so much during the demonstration for this but <laughs> you should be able to focus on my controller and how i use the analog there so as a demonstration i'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> so as a demonstration <laughs> okay so as a demonstration i'm gonna show it to you guys on this minotaur infamous section where you have to use the analog <laughs> I'm just gonna keep on demonstrating this, how I'm not gonna do this, let it return, then do this or anything. I'm just gonna keep on doing what I have to do, because you gotta keep on pushing in life. <laughs> okay, so see, I'm just gonna do this. Notice how I'm gonna use the analog. See, I'm not returning it to the natural positions where it should be. I'm just spinning it around. This should make everything 50 times easier. Imagine if I just lost there. <laughs> So as another demonstration, I'm just going to show you guys this thing again. Here's the QTE one more time. I've seen people stuck on this part for hours, sometimes days. See, I'm just, I'm just not, I'm, I'm taking my, I just failed it. <laughs> no, seriously, this should make it easier than going like, you know, it's better than doing this and letting go and then coming back to this. Just keep holding it to one location and make it easier on yourself. See how I'm, I'm kind of turning the whole analog to wherever it wants me and that way you can make it a lot easier for yourself. See? Easy quick maths. Next fact is that you can re-jump after you execute an attack in the air. This is exclusive to God of War 1. You can do it in God of War 3 but it requires some weapon change and stuff. In here it's official. Next is that Kronos is spelled with a K for some reason and it's, it's not a typo. I'm pretty sure it's written with a K in two different places as you can see on the screen. Did you know you can parkour your way down these stairs? Yeah, neat. Next, did you know you can launch a Cerberus into the air and combo the living hell out of him? Me neither. I figured this out during one of my walkthroughs which was really great. You cannot do this in the other games that came after so bada bing bada boom. And finally our last fact. In here early on in the game you get this scenery right here where you can see the statue of Athena holding the blade of the gods and when you use the blade at the end game and after you get the blades of Athena you can step here and the game shows you this a different scenery. It's so subtle and I love it so much. It is also the outro of the videos and stuff on, on the channel. It's a cute little detail that they thought about that early in the game and it's great however this is where we reach the end of this video again if you find any cool facts or anything that needs to be said just comment it down below and it might be in the next god of a one facts episode this has been your extreme gamers sd peace